Greetings from Antietam, Maryland. My name is Jehovah. Welcome back to the channel. What we're looking at here behind me is the Dunker Church. Now on the night of the 16th, the night before the Battle of Antietam, we actually had movement in this area. We know it in War of Rights as the Eastwood Skirmish, but off behind me, is going to be a high rise in front of now what is the uh, visitor center that's where uh, hood's brigade or the texas brigade is going to post up the night before the battle and then over on my left and to the left of the dunker church you're going to have evander law and his men are going to be going all the way up the hagerstown turnpike according to his report within 600 yards of the cornfield now we're going to go around different places on the battlefield to show you that specific fight so stick around and uh, we're glad you're here I was ordered by General Hood, commanding the division, to move forward and occupy the edge of the wood in which the skirmishing was going on. All right, we're standing roughly at the position of Evander Law the night of the 16th. Off to the camera's right is the Smoketown Road. That is the route that Law would have taken from his position at the Dunker Church. And they're going to look here down the road into the East Woods, and they're going to wait for the approach of the Union Army to try to determine where they're going to attack this field. Now Meade is coming across thinking he's hitting the left flank of Lee's army and in fact that's exactly what he's doing. The only division in this area the night before the battle is Hood and he has two brigades, one under Law and one under Wofford. So as the Union comes down the Smoketown Road and you have Seymour in the van, he's going to spread out into a skirmish line and it's going to have four companies on one side of the road and six companies on the other. Law is going to be in range and as Seymour comes around this bend, he's actually going to come under fire from Evander Law and also under fire from 4th Texas which has about 100 men in the East Woods right behind the camera. We're standing roughly at the point of contention at the Eastwood Skirmish map in War of Rights. This is actually the location where the Eastwood Skirmish took place. Uh, behind camera is the Smoketown Road, and that's where Seymour's men are going to come out and deploy the 13th Pennsylvania Reserves in a strong skirmish line. Four companies on one side of the road, six companies on this side of the road where we are now. And behind us, you may be able to see behind camera the White House at the top of the hill. That's going to be Evander Law's position the night of the 16th. And then two cameras right past the Smoketown Road, you're going to have a hundred men of the 4th Texas in those woods as skirmishers as well. And all hell is going to break loose because once the fighting starts in this area, Hood's going to bring Wofford's men under the Texas Brigade up into the cornfield with the 4th and 5th Texas facing the East Woods. Pogue placed his battery on high ground near the Miller Farm to support the skirmishers of Whiting's Brigade, consisting of two 10-pound Parrot rifles and a Napoleon. Pogue is reported to be the first one to open fire. We're standing at the Miller Farm. We're at the barn now. Behind camera, you can, or in front of the camera, you can actually see uh, artillery positions there. Now, at the night of the 16th, Poe was actually positioned in this spot. And according to Woford, he's the first person that fired upon the Union behind camera up in the North Woods. And that sparked off the skirmish that we would have the night before the Battle of Antietam. I feel it due to truth, to state that the enemy were informed of our position by the firing of a half a dozen shots from a little battery of ours on the left flank of the brigade, which hastily beat a retreat as soon as their guns opened upon us. They're going to again march through the East Woods and put pressure on Seymour. But of course, by that time, it's so late at night, it's dark and Seymour's going to pull back. The enemy, having crossed higher up the Antietam, made an attack upon the left flank of our line of battle. The troops of this division, being the only forces on our side, engaged. We succeeded in checking and driving back the enemy a short distance when night came on and soon the firing ceased. So about 10 o'clock, it's too dark to see. The firing has ceased. Seymour has pulled back slightly around the bend to get out of range of Law's men. Uh, Hood has pulled his men back away from the East Woods as well. And we're gonna go into the next morning. During the night, the enemy made two attacks on Seymour's pickets, both of which he was repulsed with, it is believed, severe loss. 